Hello, welcome to another NAT session. This is the session number three. Link for other session is provided in the I button. In this video, we'll solve five NAT type of questions which are really important for IIT Jam. And you must be wondering that where to practice NAT question then you came to the right place at the right time. In the last moment of IIT Jam preparation, along with revising concepts, you need to practice NAT question which can boost your chance of selection or getting a good rank. All of these NAT questions are based on previous year analytics, so it would be highly valuable for you guys. Before we start this video and delve into all these question solving, let me give you a quick shout out, shout out about a particular mock test which is happening in Unacademy, which is India's online learning platform, biggest online learning platform. The mock test is dated 30th Jan 2022 and it's starting from 11 a.m. and it's a 180 minute length mock test. So you can enroll into this mock test for free you just need to click on the link which is provided in the description and it would take you to that particular enrollment page you can use my code ap10 to enroll for free by the way my courses are also present in an academy which are al almost free these uh, last moment tips and tricks are almost free so don't forget to check them out you can find the link in the description as well and if you're thinking of taking an Unacademy subscription, this is the correct time to take it because within Jan 25 to Jan 27, there is a big offer. If you take a one year or a two year subscription within this time period, you will get a six months extension. Let's get back to the question answer solving. This is a very common type question. This question says if this following peptide is cleaved with trypsin, then dash fragments would be generated. So this is a common proforma they just change the name of the enzymes they can give chymotrypsin pepsin many other thing or dithiothretol all of these things so if you add trypsin to this then how many fragment would be generated you can pause this question you can pause the video and try to answer this question the correct answer is basically three because trypsin is known to cut after uh, basic amino acids such as lysine or arginine so whenever you see a lysine whenever you see a arginine you need to think that there would be a cut after that question number two if a double standard dna has 30 percent of cytosine the percentage of adenine in the dna is dash so this is based on shargaff rule so this is a very common question but this is asked in many examination so the correct answer would be 20% and here is the solution. All of you guys know that if 30% is cytosine, so 30% would be guanine as well because C equal, the number of cytosine should be equal to number of guanine, right? So total 60% is gone, rest of the, what is left is 40%. So among that 40%, we would have equal number of A, equal number of T. So obviously 20% would be for adenine or thymine so here 20 percent is the answer question number three a newly identified phage genome is 0 0.4096 million base pair in length quite a huge genome if we fragment the genome with a restriction enzyme with a recognition site double a g c t g then the number of fragments obtained would be dash again this is a common proforma here you have to understand what restriction enzyme you are using doesn't matter what is the recognition sequence it does matter what type of cutter it is it's a four base cutter or a six base recognition sequence so based on that the fragment length would be would be calculated so the enzyme will cut one time in every four to the power six base if it's a six base cutter or if it's a four base cutter it would be one time in four to the power four base pairs right because we have a t g and c four type of base and that is why the overall uh, probability of cutting is like one in a four to the power six base pair so obviously total number of fragments that would be generated is the total genomic size divided by four to the power six in this case it would be 100 question number four a polyglutamate chain it's given in the brackets that pka of the side chain carboxyl group is 4.07 will form an alpha helix so a polyglutamate chain will form an alpha helix in a solution at a ph level 
below what so this question i have solved and i i told this this particular ph level is below 4.7 4.07 any ph let's say ph 3 it would form alpha helix let's say ph uh, 2.5 it would form an alpha helix let's say ph 6 it won't form an alpha helix do you know why if you don't know you have to go to the alpha helix uh, lecture right now which is in the i button so you have to find the i button click on it and learn why why glutamate or any any kind of charged amino acid how can it destabilize the alpha helix or generally this kind of stretch doesn't form an alpha helix so why is so okay question number 5 is for you you have a you have to characterize a protein solution concentration is given the length of cuvette is 2 cm and only 50% of certain light beam is transmitted. So the ex extinction coefficient would be. So this particular question is from Beer Lambert Law. In case you don't know Beer Lambert Law, you can click on the link which is provided in the I button that would help you to revise Beer Lambert Law quickly. So solve this question, put it in the comments, the particular answer. See you in the next video. By the way, there are many notes in my facebook uh, page take a look at it you will get many notes may be beneficial for you don't forget to like share and subscribe you can follow my uh, you can support my channel on patreon you can follow me on an academy and you can take my subscription using my code ap10 you'll get a 10 percent discount see you in next video thank you